all right so i want to test what optic is actually the best so i want to use a defender with let's say let's go with mel for now so we're going to start with hollow and work our way down and just kind of go through why every single optic is good what it is better than the other optics and you know just overall what optic feels the best for me so ignore that because that's that's simple so this i mean just enemy like you normally shoot at red so what i like about the the og hollow is that like the reticle is just you know very straightforward very simple the dot in the middle is a little kind of eh for me because it's a little tiny sometimes you get lost in the like the, the craziness of siege but like what i like about the circle is like it helps keep the head like in the circle like your target acquisition time with this is great but like your overall accuracy could be bad you, you see what i mean like like i'm in the crosshair but i'm like skimming the head so here's how i test it like you use side strafes so try to keep your crosshair on his head as you as you move and you can try to mix it up and go like this like turn and then like is it stopping you hit the wall that was bad but my overall accuracy with this scope compared to others uh, what i've noticed wasn't amazing compared to the other scopes uh, the overall target acquisition time is great so what i want to do is have target acquisition time which target acquisition time is basically the time it takes for you to see your target and get your scope on them so like a game like tarkov is less about your accuracy and more about your target acquisition time tarkov is all about target acquisition it might like siege compared to like a game like valorant Siege has a lot more target acquisition than Valorant. Val Valorant's more like this aim and, aim and slam. So this is the OG Hollow. This is my overall go-to. It's like not bad, like, but it's not the best at anything. It like when it gets bumpy, it makes it easy to like keep your crosshair like on like mostly on the head because you just keep them in the circle. And you just try to center it as much as you possible as possible, because you know that's gonna be the headshot. Like keeping it in the big circle, very, very, very easy. All right, let's change scopes. So that's my go-to. I've been looking for a better scope to use. Here's what I've been kind of liking a little bit because let me talk about why I've been liking the scope. I'm I'm definitely a one five crutch. A hey, hell, I'm preaching the red. I have uh, I talk about the one five all the time. The one five is great. I love the one five the most out of all the scopes. I think it's the best optic in the game. But here is the Russian red dot. So it's kind of like the 1.5 scope with an added like triangle just to really make sure you know where your shot is going. And the dot in the middle is bigger. So it's kind of like the, the other hollow. It is a little bit bigger though. So see like how like uh, that's a, quite a bit bigger. So for acquisition of the headshot, it's a little bit worse, but I think for overall accuracy, it's better. So the dot itself is really easy to stay centered on where your shot actually is so i think for overall accuracy that this scope is better than the, the original hollow but the hollow is better for this overall target acquisition that yeah, like this is why i tried this scope in the first place because i think that overall accuracy with this is better well, that was awful This I, I like it a lot because like if you could if you just like lean in close like low key it becomes a one five like I don't know like, it just feels more accurate than the other scopes that, from what I've tried well not all the scopes but we'll get to that I feel like this is a good combination of target acquisition and accuracy overall. What I like is that all the scopes have a plus and a minus. So that was that. That's the scope I've been kind of messing with to try to get better at because obviously it's not the one I'm used to. I'm used to the OG. So now we're going to try Hollow B. So let me, oh, whoops. Now we're going to try Hollow B. 
I'm gonna talk about what's good about this optic and what's bad about this optic, because I personally don't like this. Some people can use it, but you know. But what I don't like about the scope is in the craziness of Siege, the corners of the scope are, it, it's it's hard to keep track of which one is your crosser when when things are going nuts, you're like trying to like, you know, just try to keep, keep it on them. And the, the outside crosser is very, very bright. Like the spikes are very bright. There's a lot going on. I feel like there's a lot going on in the crosser. The overall optic is great. This is really good for like target acquisition. But like keeping your shot steady, I've, what I've noticed is that it is very hard to keep your shot steady with this optic. It's not a bad optic. I'm sure you can probably make it work on some guns, but like I think overall this optic is a little when things are going nuts like it's, it's hard to like sometimes like I, sh I found myself shooting like this I found myself like shooting like this and I'm like, oh my, no, I'm not in the circle It's like I thought like I was in the circle because I was like shooting like this or like I was shooting like that Or shooting like this not getting headshots. It was hard to keep my actual Pinpoint on him. So that, that's that's why I didn't, I didn't enjoy that scope we could use it but like for, for my eyes I, I just didn't enjoy it so let me talk really quick about the red dot a why you probably shouldn't run this compared to the other red dot this red dot the peripheral aspects of this i think it's kind of bad just look at this red dot and then we're going to compare it to the other red dot which is the red dot c red dot c i think is much better it does the exact same thing but less peripheral like noise so this is extremely good for overall accuracy because you know exactly where your shot's going. But I think for target acquisition, this is bad because like you have to get your dot like physically on them. But for overall accuracy, this is a head popper. Cause you know where, you know exactly where your shots go without any of the, the funny business. But overall target acquisition is going to be a little bit harder for this. So if you're more of a body shotter, this is not the gun for you. Like this is a, I need to hit a headshot or I'm dead. Kind of, kind of, you know, scope. So like operator like Malusi with an MP5, not necessarily a bad idea to have this scope. I personally, I've tried this because I've, I've been experimenting. I don't like it as much because sometimes I do tend to find myself going for those body shots when I need to. Josh, push this up, baby. So if you're more of a body shot Bepis kind of, kind of player, like don't use red dots. Red dots, you are going purely for the headshots. All right, let's go to the, uh, the hollow C. I see a lot of people run this. I, I, I get it. I get it because it's kind of like the red dot, but it, it helps with the target acquisition a little bit. Like, look, like, so like, I know that like, I have to be between the lines to like really be in for the headshot, right? So it makes it a little bit easier for the target acquisition, the one thing I don't like is like when it leans, it like skews, like, I don't know. It, I, I don't like the fact that the lines do that. But I like that like it helps with the target acquisition because you know you have to be between the lines and then you worry about lining up the headshot with the dots, so. When crazy is the siege, like, you know, you just have to like line up the dots, line up the lines and then try to get the dots to connect as fast as you can. Boom. Lines throw me off too. But I get how some people's like some people's brains can get this to work. Cause like I understand the logistics of like why this is supposed to be good. You get as fast as you can, get the head between the lines, and then try to get your dot on the head. So as fast as you can, between and then get your dot on the head. Alright. Next. So this one I don't like really at all. And I, I understand that some people might. I like to shoot at a specific target, but for some people, they don't like shooting at a target. They want their visual of what they're shooting at completely clear. So like this is good, but I just feel like it just, there's a lot going on in the reticle. So you need to really like turn down the opacity for this. Otherwise you're not gonna be able to tell what's going on. If you turn down the opacity and you should be okay. But for me, I like my opacity very dark. So this is not the scope for me because obviously I can, I can barely even see the dude. Well, I'm aiming at him, but I mean, you can turn down your opacity very easily. Just, you know, I'd go like, let's say like 50. Even that, I think there's a lot, not enough with this scope. 
Let's try like 30. Yeah, so maybe like 30. Yeah, it's not bad. But you have to, you just have to have the right type of person to really get this to work. Like none of these scopes are necessarily bad. It really depends on the person in like that wants to run it. You know, there's no such thing as a bad because they're all the same magnification. It really is just if you plan on running it or not. I'm gonna go back to my normal opacity, which is I think about 80. The reflex, I mean, the thing that throws me off with the reflex is that I've used the hollow so long that it's not at the triangle, it's at the tip of the triangle. So like, when I'm like this, that's not a headshot. It's at the tip of the triangle. So this is like the next best thing for like, I used to run reflex all the time. If you're like trying to like have a free target, but like you want to be centered very easily. So for target acquisition, this isn't great because it's like the red dot and overall shot like you have to be like a little bit lower than you'd be used to if you're used to hollows. So. It's not bad, but you just have to pull down a little bit more if you're used to the hollows. Let's go to another reflex. So I know a lot of people live and swear by this. I do not like this scope. There is just so much going on. So we talked about the, the differences of, of the bars, right? And then you also have the problem of the triangle. So the bars help you for target acquisition overall. So like when you go into aim some at somebody, like it just helps with the general like, okay, I'm a qu target acquired. And then you have to like keep your bullet like your crosshair, like the tri tip of the triangle, was slightly lower than you normally would with the hollow. So, so overall, like I, I don't like this because it just makes me, it just feels weird compared to every other shooter game I've ever played. Like I can get this to work, but I would have to train myself to use that one properly. And then you have the reflex C. I, I, I think out of, out of all the reflexes, this, this is probably the best one in my eyes. Well, that's what's cool. It's like none of these scopes are necessarily worse than the others. This is like the other reflex. I mean, just a different view. Like it, it's the same thing. Like I don't like this one as much because there's just like more peripheral clutter. So, so I think between the other reflexes, like this to that, I'm oh, sorry, this to this, I think I prefer this because there's less peripheral clutter. Right? So this is the one I've been trying. This is my, this is the, the hollow A is the one that I normally go to because obviously the, this target acquisition is just very easy with this. Like it's very easy to acquire a target with this. And then you just try your best to keep on the head as much as you possibly can. So this, what I'm used to, cause I'm acquiring the targets a lot easier, but overall accuracy is a little bit lower. That's why I've been trying to get used to the red dot B. You've seen a couple people run this probably. Target acquisition is a little bit harder because the circle is bigger, but overall accuracy when you're aimed in is going to be a little bit better, like kind of like the one five scope. So I can keep my centered on that shot in the middle a little bit easier because the triangle helps keep me focused on where I need to be. And I need, know I need to be at least somewhere in the circle if I'm going to hit a shot at all. So, all right guys, that's all the optics, all the one X's in the game. That's my thoughts about them. Obviously there's no like real up or down for any of the optics. Like you can run whatever optic you want. If it works for you, if you're getting kills, that optic's working for you. So don't stress over it too much. All right guys, till next time.